Tuesday. Greetings from a very, very rainy Nashville. The last two days it's just been really dark and stormy out, but I've been welcoming it because it's been, as you can expect, super hot down here. But how's everybody doing? I hope you had a nice day yesterday. I had a good one myself. I just taught my students and did practicing for my own stuff. I know I'm a bit late today. I got a little carried away with a new transcription. Hooray! It's my first Final Fantasy 16 piece. It's that um, pretty guitar one that I showed you guys before. And I transcribed the finger-picked guitar line as well as the main melody. For today, I'm probably just going to play the melody and not the guitar part yet. It's not very, like, loopable. There's not a lot of repeating sections, so I think I'm just going to pre-record the guitar part and then play violin over it. But that's why I was late today. <laughs> For I Can Has, Nashville's too much fun. I've, I've been pretty dang happy here, I will say. I've lived here now, like, almost 10 years. Crazy to think about. Cathador, welcome. Pencil's great to see you. I liked to, uh, you mixed it up today with uh, your entrance. I, I thought that was, that was really bold, a really bold choice. Jove, welcome. Van, Affectionate Scar, TMK, ASMR. I hope everyone's doing all right. Broadway's wild. I, <laughs> nice pencils. <laughs> Broadway, I do think is one of those things that people should experience. I will admit after living here extendedly, I don't go down there very often. It's just such like a, a drinking party culture that there isn't too much else to do down there. But you know, when people visit me, of course, I, I take them down to Broadway to see all the lights and bands and everything. Yeah, there's like three story buildings with a band on every floor and all the windows are open too, so you hear 10 bands at the same time, which is odd. <laughs> but the symphony is also downtown, and I love the Nashville Symphony. I've seen some great shows there. And um, there's a couple like other cool little pockets. Squiddy, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you. So yeah. Other than that, things are good. I'm having little music goals for stream that I'm trying to accomplish every day if I can. And I was just missing doing a new transcription. So I'm excited to add something new to the list. Mikey, it's good to see you. Kimchi Bimchi's doing great. We had some good cuddles, good hang times, played with his toys. Do you like living around so many musicians? Yes, that is the main reason that I live here. Um, many people call Nashville Music City, and when I graduated college, I knew I wanted to be a musician, so I figured Music City would probably be a good place to do that. But it's amazing. Um, my first few months here, I would just walk everywhere with my violin, and it was essentially like a business card, because anyone that was a musician would come up to me and be like, oh, like, are you in a band? Like, I'm looking for a violin for this. It's, it's, it's easy to get to connect with the artist community here for sure. And everyone has like a studio in their house too. So recording sessions are just everywhere here. Lots of venues and yeah. Ever just drop in and start playing somewhere? Yes, for I can. Um, that's how I got started. I would just bring my violin to shows and sit near the front of the stage. And I just hoped that maybe they'd notice me and ask me to come up. And that happened a few times. Sometimes I did pretty good, sometimes I did not. But it was the way I, I first was able to start meeting people down here. Imagine if you graduated and been like, you know, I don't want to be a musician. That would be a pretty tragic use of my Berkeley degree. I think that that would probably bum my parents out. <laughs> you know what? Music stinks. I'm not going to do it. 
No, they would have supported me, of course, but... Well, why don't we get started here? I'm gonna do the unravel warm-up that I like to start with occasionally. I think the thunderstorm has calmed down by this point, but you might hear a couple, a couple little thunder booms occasionally. I don't have the best luck with keeping my power on during storms, but I think the worst of it subsided by now. Thank you very much. We got a, a handful of follows right at the top of the stream. I appreciate that very much. Uh, 65 as well as th CPM. I wanted to say three when I saw C. 
That was kind of an alarming mix up on my part. <laughs> Let's see. So a couple updates. I am thinking that I'm going to change my schedule up for the you know, foreseeable future. I'm still gonna do four streams a week. I did a little uh, poll in the Discord to see what time people preferred me to be live. And I was really surprised to see that the winner was 3 p.m. Um, the winner was 3 p.m. followed by 6 p.m. and last place was 10 a.m. I'm still going to do each time slot to give, you know, people in different corners of the world their chance to catch a stream if they want to. Um, I'm going to finalize that schedule and put it in the Discord for next week. So that's one. And then the other very exciting announcement is I'm going to be doing a collab stream next week on this channel. And I'm thrilled to say that this collab will be with my violin teacher. Uh, Miss lovely Julia Dina. Uh, um, she's also a Twitch streamer and she's incredible. When I first saw her stream, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so good. I want to sound like that. And so I messaged her and asked if I could be a student. <laughs> so I'm very excited for that. Um, we're talking back and forth about little things that we want to try and do for the stream. So it's going to be fun. Let's see here. Man, I have a bit of a runny nose today. I don't know what that's all about. For War Mimic, welcome. Jojo, good to see you. Ideas of Juno. Mellow, good to see you. I saw that we were talking about doppelgangers. I think that I look like, um, I look like Jake Gyllenhaal. I did one of those, like, you know the photo filters where it will, like, change your gender? So I took a photo like that, and with the addition of a stronger jawline and some five o'clock shadow, I was like, I look like Jake Gyllenhaal. So that's the official doppelganger that I have on this channel. What do I want to do first? I think I'd like to do some Final Fantasy. I just don't know which Final Fantasy. Like I said, I have a new song that I finished up right before stream to show you today from Final Fantasy 16. So I feel like it just makes sense to start with some Final Fantasy. Let's do Pinello's theme. It's one that doesn't get a whole lot of playtime because it's just not, you know, as well known as like a Tazanarkin or something. But it's really pretty. It's from Final Fantasy XII. I gotta cut this hair soon, it's so long. Fade out the Diablo soundtrack and come in with some Final Fantasy.
such a happy little playful theme. I really like it. Um, let's see. Fast, good to see you. Welcome in. And of course, Blocka, my favorite entrance. Zen. Hoagie, good to see you. Um, for CPM, no, I'm not a, a member of an orchestra. I, I hope one day I might be able to get good enough where maybe I could have a long shot, but I mostly um, play violin in the context of like live rock bands and things like that. But I am taking classical lessons, working hard at it. Uh, I guess I don't need to put the violin down. Let's just pick another song. Let's do another orchestrated vibe. So I think I, what I'm gonna do is a head on our way from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Mikey, thank you. That means a lot to me. Even after all these years playing the violin, I'm still very, very self-conscious of my playing. And you know, like, I know that ultimately is a result of it meaning so much to me, so it's not always a bad thing but working on the confidence stuff.
Yeah, there was a couple little doozies that I did in there. <laughs> that were bold choices, I'll call them. Um, how is the stream quality looking, by the way? I know that we've been having a lot of issues lately with dropped frame rates. I've been clearing out so much stuff on the computer and I've been turning it off a lot more. So I'm hopeful that it might be better. I'm also kind of just recognizing that I might just need to get a new laptop soon. Um, this is 2018 refurbished. Seems smooth now. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Knock on wood then. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Elton, good to see you. How are you? Um, let's see. I was also, when I was thinking about if I am gonna have to get a new laptop, I was thinking about just overall tech stuff on stream. And I think I might look into getting um, a, they're like these pads that you can draw on and it will show up on the screen. And I thought maybe it could be kind of cool if like when I am explaining some music theory, like it can appear on the screen and I can write it out and show you guys and have it come up here. I don't know how, um, how easily done that might be. Uh, for Elton, could I play you something? Maybe help make you feel a little better? September for new hardware? Not a bad idea, actually. I might be able to do that with my iPad. <gasps> oh my god, that would be awesome! Yeah, if I could just, like, draw on the screen and be able to explain, like, especially when I'm doing improv loops. Let's see. I can pick? Okay. You would not get a laptop for Tripwire? Why is that? Without buying additional hardware. You don't need portability and you will sacrifice performance price if you get a laptop. Laptops are more money for less computer. Hmm. I got some thinking to do. Well, as long as it's working now, that's all I care about. Let's see here. I kind of want to play the song that's playing right now. This is, I think it's just called Home from Xenoblade Chronicles. Hometown, maybe? Hometown. Mello! <laughs> Thank you, Mello. I really appreciate that. I mean, I have this computer, obviously, that I use for editing in Ableton, but I'm afraid of running Ableton and OBS on the same computer that it might overwhelm it. Can you play something from Chrono? Yeah, I got you. You said please, of course. Let's do Home Arnie Village and then I'll do, uh, maybe I'll do Hometown after that. <laughs> Sudden stop there, I could have faded that, my bad. Thank you, Mello. Let me know if I can play you something.
always really enjoy playing that one. It's so pretty. Oh, I ain't perfect, let me tell you. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I saw a new person come in. Leonardo, what's up? Or Leah. It's nice to meet you as well. I hope you're having a nice day. Dana! <gasps> Matt! Matt. The reason that this channel has been able to grow to where it is. Matt was the very first mod on this channel. Matt made the Discord. And back in the early days, he used to talk me down before every stream because I was so nervous. <laughs> and still has to do it occasionally. Not as much anymore, though. Matt, thank you. I think you are officially the first sub ever, too, on the channel. And at tier 3, too, thank you very, very much. Please let me know if I can play you something on the list. I see you. Jove, thank you for the bits. Kicking off a hype train. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, I do see that, Mello, you found a song that you'd like to hear. And I love playing that one. It's such a joyful piece. Naru embracing the light from Ori. Okay. Welcome Raiders, thank you for Jower music. I know I'm probably saying that wrong. Please correct me, I apologize. Um, Totalino, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, Dan for gifting five subs, thank you so much. Josh for the resub for seven months. 
I, I really appreciate it. All the resubs and gift subbers, you guys all get priority requests if that's something you'd like. Um, sounds like door, jor. Got it. Cool. Thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream? Um, Infraraders, welcome. My name's Joe. I play over video game soundtracks. Uh, I listen to them and write out the music based on what I'm hearing. And I also make loop performances of covers playing piano, banjo, guitar, bass, lots of different instruments, and sing on top of them for covers, originals, and instrumentals. So if any of that interests you, I hope you consider hanging out. Uh, for Jor, if there's something that I could play for you to thank you for the raid as well, let me know. There's one song that this one made me think of where I kind of want to do, Matt, how dare you. I laid out the, the guidelines and still, how could you? Since that one was so light and bouncy, um, oh, Jor like in Bonjour. Jor, is that better? <laughs> um, uh, for Crumpet, thank you for gifting a sub to Jor. That one's better. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a really beautiful song for you from a game called Octopath Traveler 2. I was so excited waiting for this soundtrack to come out. And it uh, definitely went beyond my expectations and more. It's it's so, so pretty.
for Compass. Thank you so much. Thank you. Another month listening to Joe playing wonderful music just feels right. Thank you so much for almost two years now, exactly. Thank you very much. Please let me know if there's something that I could play for you to say thank you. For Adore, I saw that you asked for Vienna, so I can do that for you right now. This will be our first singing loop of the day. So with my loops, sometimes I record it all from scratch. And sometimes I already have like an instrument on there just to help things move along a bit faster. So with this one, I have already recorded the guitar. And I'm just going to play piano and add strings to it. I love this song. There it is. Covers, updated, Vienna. Processions, how are you? Good to see you. Alrighty, let's do this thing. So I need to start with the strings. Great. Let's pause this. <laughs> Can you hear the cat crying? Kimchi, you gotta let me do my thing. Sorry, you guys. I've been having really bad computer issues. I don't know how to fix it. I think I might just have to get a new computer. I don't know. Almost there. 
flustered from the computer not working. Okay, I can do it.
I got so flustered during that. I apologize. Um, the The issue with the buffering has just been something where I've tried like a lot of different stuff to fix it, and it just it keeps happening. So I'm, it was kind of just a helpless feeling for a moment where I was like, dang. Oh, let me get this out of here. <laughs> Let's see. What should I do next? <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. I kind of want to do another singing song. I'm just trying to decide which one. Also, I don't know what I did with Buttronome. I can't find it. Like, I know it's in this house somewhere, but I just can't find it. It will turn up. Always does, I suppose. Let me take a look over here. I kind of want to do This Will Be Our Year next. My voice is feeling a bit tight today, so I'll do my best, but. Where are Tuesday's pants? Oh, oh, that's a good call. I'll check that. <laughs> Elton, but. <laughs> so I need the guitar first. Here we go. Y'all are more than helpful. Here we go. This will be our year. This will be the strings right there. Here's the guitar. Here we go. I can fix that. <laughs> so I just cut out one measure.
gosh I've totally done that before <laughs> and I won't forget forgets damn that's two times now in a row that I've done that that's not good that means it's we're getting into 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 a uh, habit territory Joe I saw you went to 8035 I hope you enjoyed Des Moines I love Des Moines it's such a beautiful clean friendly city I had a great time and the festival was fantastic. Um, two weeks ago, I traveled to Chicago, Cincinnati, and Des Moines to play some shows with my band Tales. And the last stop was Des Moines, where we played 8035. But I absolutely loved it. I had such a good time. I think we're actually going to be playing another show in Des Moines um, in October. I have to look to see that we had a. I'll have to like remind myself what date that was supposed to happen. Uh, for Banuki and Old KH, thank you very much for the followers. I really appreciate you. And thank you, everybody. I will say, I'm going to take a quick break uh, just to use the restroom. And when I come back, I'm going to dive into some instrumental loops. Maybe I'll try out the new transcription I finished before stream as well. So I will be back in just like two minutes. Thank you, everybody.
Look what I found. Rrr, butcher gnome. On the counter downstairs. Thank goodness. Let's see. I kind of want to do time in a bottle next. Uh, for Tone Love, thank you for the resub, by the way. For half a year now, thank you. And Moon Sugar, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Also, I put on pants. Those shorts weren't comfortable. Let's see here. We are gonna do Time in a Bottle, which is in 3-4. This one I do record from scratch. Ooh, I just realized I also left the door open, which means we might see the kimchi bimchi. Kimchi's my kitten, and I don't usually let him stay in here because he is just enamored with the cables and wants to bite all the cables. Do you think this Breath of the Wild song was played by a human? I think so. I like to think so. Haven't done this one in a while, so hopefully I can remember all the guitar finger picking. I think I got it though. And they want me to put the tempo at 144 was what I wrote down. So we'll try that out. Let's see. Um, Moose, thank you for a resub. Thank you very much for two months. I hope you're doing all right. Okay. I'm going to turn on this mic control to get it a bit louder for y'all. All right, let's do it.
Thank you again for the resub. I really appreciate that. And the new follow. Thank you. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing I'd like to do is save every day till the time passes away just to spend time with you. If I could make days last forever And words could make wishes come true I'd save every day like a treasure And then again I would spend them with you But there never seems to be enough time To do the things you want to do and see if I Been around enough to know you're the one I want to go through time with.
Oh, I totally forgot about that song in my repertoire. It's, it's always been a favorite of mine since I was little. Me and my dad used to listen to Jim Croce in the car together and sing along. For a fan all welcome. Uh, you're a welcome. Thank you again for that follow. I really appreciate you. And everybody, thank you very much. Let's see. So I did a couple singing songs. Why don't I do an instrumental? I kind of want to do Koss's theme mashed up with Song of Storms. It's been a little while since I've done that one. Here we go. Oh, wait. This is not the Zelda binder. Kind of like a comical hit of the tambourine I just did by accident. Let's see here. Here it is. So now, open up this template, set up pedals, and we're good to go. For anyone who's new, by the way, hi, my name's Joe. I play uh, over video game soundtracks because video game music is my favorite thing to listen to. And I also make loop arrangements of the game music, of covers where I sing on top of them, originals, and lots of different things. Play lots of different instruments. It's fun. Um, for multi, thank you. I really appreciate that. And Ouija, welcome. Good to see you as well. All right. Tempo, I wrote down 126. There we go. Lisa Ravenclaw, welcome. How are you doing today? my birthday but thank you for the bits but it, it's not my birthday Lisa thank you for Harissa thank you that gives you a priority request if that's something you'd like well for whenever your birthday is we'll thank you in advance my birthday is April 24th. Let's break out the accordion, shall we?
I always want... I ended up putting those ones together. Well, first off, is they're both 3-4 in great Zelda songs. But I found that, like, every time I'd listen to either one, I would just be like, I wish this was longer. <laughs> I wish there was more music in this song. Is I really like it. Um, and then I was like, oh, why don't I just shove them together? Make it work. Make it work. Thank you, everybody. I see we do have a priority request for Lisa. You asked for House Moving Castle. You got it. Let me just switch out these binders and we'll jump into it. Here we go. House Moving Castle. Merry go round of life. Um, hey, thank you for a new sub, Mystery Coffee. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that. That does give you a priority request, which means I'll play you anything from my song list if that's something you'd like. Um, just let me or mod know. I put the song list in chat for you if you want to check it out. Merry go round of life. The piano performance you're about to hear is by a wonderful pianist whose YouTube channel is called Paradise. Except instead of an I, put a number one in there and you'll find it.
Slowly but surely getting that better and better. Hey, how about um, I show you guys the new transcription I did? I'm going to record the guitar at some point and play over my own guitar performance. But for today, I'm just going to play the melody. This is my first song I've learned from Final Fantasy 16. It's called The Founder's Footsteps. Thank you, Lisa, for the resub. Thank you. So I also wrote out the guitar part again that I'm going to record for next week so I can have my own track to play over. I think that's good. Final Fantasy 16. Founders, footsteps. Perfect. Thank you. 
play the guitar transcription I did to see if I did it right. I finished it right before going live today, so I want to see if I got it correct. Let's see. okay sweet I decided I wanted to record the guitar part myself because um playing violin in unison with that guitar line I think it just sounds sonically like they're fighting each other so I was like maybe I should just um record it myself so I'm gonna try and get this recorded for next week it's pretty simple. It's really pretty. It's a C and a nice C sus4. Yeah. So my first Final Fantasy 16 on the list. Hooray. Uh, for Kit Loves Coffee, good to see you. How are you doing today? Um... When I was doing House Moving Castle, I was like, maybe I should do my Kiki's Delivery Service Loop. I haven't done that for a little bit. It's a fun one, too. For uh, Beak and YNV, thank you very much for the follows, by the way. All right. Kiki's Delivery Service. Instrumentals. Ghibli. I start with the violin. Let's do it. For Dogen, thank you. Lupin's fun. I was definitely really intimidated by it at first, but I'm glad I stuck with it.
I turned the wrong one. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was going to have a more tactful ending than that. My bad. Um, Station giving out subs left, right, and center. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. Um, oh, for Cyber Duke. Well, luckily, I ain't intending on stopping streaming for for a very long time. I hope I can do this like forever. But I guess you got to roll with the tides as they come, you know. I don't know how long I'll go today. I've had a bit of the sniffles today. I didn't get the best night's sleep last night, but still in a good mood and everything. Just a little bit sleepy and my nose is a little bit stuffy. Let's see here. How about I do a couple tracks and then a couple singing songs? I do want to try and do Subterranean Homesick Alien again today. I might have a way to cut down on how long it takes to loop it, so I wanted to test that. I haven't gotten to try it yet, but we'll find out together, I guess. I want to do a song from Fire Emblem. I always forget what it's called. It's like something spring or something. We'll see. I shall find it. Spring Radiance. Doc, what's up? Good to see you. <laughs> see, Spring Radiance. Oh, I got a priority request. I'm so sorry. Uh, for Dana, right? I'll play this for you. I'll play that for you right when I finish this. My apologies.
so happy. So, now I can do the priority requests. See you, Jojo. I am going to do Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out for Dana. So I think I have to do the sloop from scratch. Let's see here. Hey, Squisher. I'm doing good. How are you? All right, let's do it. Squishard! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! Congratulations on entering the beautiful community and world that is the violin. That's awesome. Let's see here. Let's do it. One side of the life of a millionaire. Spent some my money, doesn't care. And my pedal should be horizontal. Let's change that real quick. There we go. Oopsie. Thank you. 
all my friends out for mighty fantastic. Spending bootleg whiskey, champagne, wine. Then I began to fall so low. Lost all my friends, had nowhere to go. If I could get my hands on a dollar again, I'll hold on to it till that eagle grins because no. Nobody knows you when you're down now. In my pocket there's not one penny. And as for friends, well I don't got many. But when I get back on my feet again, that's when I meet my long lost friend. It's mighty strange and without a doubt. Nobody knows you when you're down now. Secret sauce. Thank you so, so much. 27 freaking months. That's amazing. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Um, please let me know if I can play something for you to say thank you for the resub. Um, man, that's, that one's so fun. I like to try and kind of think about like the 20s when I play it and try to capture that energy to put it in there. Thank you, everybody, so much. So I think my plan is, oh, my gosh, you are way too nice to me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. And I promise I'm going to get back to you tonight about looping stuff. I already know what I'm going to say. Ah, I apologize about the yawning, y'all. Play what you like, Joe. I'm working right now, so I'm just lurking and listening to your music. Well, I hope your work isn't giving you any stress or nothing. Um, for Dana, thank you very, very much. Thank you. And everybody, thank you. I'm going to take another quick break just for a couple minutes. I need to try to wake myself up or something. Oh. I, 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 I. <laughs> thank you. All right, let me take that quick little break and I will be right back. 
In the meanwhile, I'm going to put on... Oh, that's probably going to make the lurk work, actually. I'll just put on some tracks in the back while I take my little break here. Put on... Zeus. Wrong button. <laughs> there we go. So let's see. I kind of wanted to try and do subterranean homesick alien. And I might know a way to make it shorter of like a loop process. This is one where um, I've been working really hard on learning more tricks in Ableton and getting better at the... Um, drum pads that I use and I ended up making a little groove for this that I think helps tie it all together. So let's see.
I'm testing to see if I can restart it from here. I tell all my friends, but they never believe me. I think I finally lost it completely. I show them signs, and I made me They shut me away. But I'll be all alright. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm gonna cut down the time it takes to do this by quite a bit, I think. Let's do it.
up a bed. Aliens hover, making home movies for the folks back home. Of all these weird creatures who lock up their space, drill holes in themselves and live for the secret. Great. I, I realized that I could loop this and cut down on the time it takes to build it like by half, which is awesome. I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to figure that out. Like it now feels like a more quick loop that I can just like be able to throw on if I get like a big rate or something and show what I do. So I'm very happy with that. that that's nice. That's nice. Thank you, Gathadora. I like the drums. It's fun. Um, and now that, thanks to you guys, I was able to get a second one of these boards. It's great because I might, I have like a strategy for having 
this one be like the rhythm section officially. So these are all the separate drum pads and then this could be my like string and vocals for the larger ones. So I just feel so much more in control and like able to like, you know, really provide a, a complete product, you know? For Doc, thank you. I have $10 for adding drums, thank you. Now that I've done this one, um, I'm really confident with adding the drums to the loops that I have left that I feel kind of um, unsure about. You guys have known that I've been on this like journey of, um, of revisiting all of my loops. I initially learned how to loop using a pedal and then I switched to Ableton which changed how I viewed looping entirely and the strategies. And then I got better at music, so I kept revisiting my loops to make them better. And I finally am at a place with it where I feel like a lot of my arrangements at this point are like where they should be, if that makes sense. And it's helping me plan out more performances and just do new things. So I'm feeling really motivated and excited. Um, let's see, I kind of want to try the other new one that I just uh, learned. Oh my god, I, if, Tripwire. I mean, most of you guys know this who were there at that time. Ableton made me cry. It like made me, it devastated me. I had the hardest time learning it, but it's all that work and all of the hours I, I feel I can confidently say paid off. Um, and you know, I just discovered so much more new things in Ableton that I wanna, um, that I want to explore. And while that's exciting, it also means like that I might have to rethink everything again in the future, but anyway. <coughs> I might make this next one my last one, guys. I'm feeling a little off today. Um, I've had a stuffy nose. I hope I'm not getting sick. So I think I'm going to end after this next one. And, uh, yeah. I know it's a shorter stream, but I will be live again tomorrow. Thank you for the dono, Doc. Unfortunately, at some point in the future, you'll be better at music and have to do it all over again. Yep. But, you know, I'm ready for it. I'm going to make this one really simple. Sometimes I do the bass. Oh, the last time I did it, I did the bass part live, but I'm just going to play piano and violin over it. So I already have the percussive stuff in there and uh, the bass line. Okay, so we're gonna do piano, and then I, I'll try and add like a couple strings, maybe. <laughs> do I wanna play just regular piano for this? Or any tones or something? Probably not. For Doc, he said, you could switch from Ableton to Bitwig. I don't know what that is. Should I know what that is? But no, I'm I'm sticking with Ableton. I worked so hard to finally get to a point where I kind of understand it, so it's definitely my main. I still use Logic for vocals, though. Um, yes, I think the overdubbing in Logic is better than the Ableton one. This is a song called Petals in the L Wind. It's from an absolutely um, adorable soundtrack for from a game, Inkenfell, an indie game. And I fell in love with it. I just think it's really pretty. Oh, you know what? I should take out the sheet music so I can see it all. Uh, 
Uh, yes, I do. I have a pad- I have a a pedal board at my feet, and I assign um, each pedal to do something for each individual song. And it's how I'm able to loop my strings back to back without me having to like put the violin down. That took forever to figure out. That was a real pain in the butt. Oh my god. <laughs> so. I learned in Ableton how to adjust pitches. Oh. There we go. So this bump, bump, those beep boops or snare drums, and I just pitch them up really high to an F and a C. And then I learned the bass line and did guitar strums on the downbeats. officially a year of subs. Thank you very much. All right, let's do it. What's up? One second, let me uh, get this down. For Claire, thank you so much. Thank you very much for the rain. Uh, you guys are just in time actually for my last song today, but welcome Raiders, my name's Joe. I make loops of covers and originals and instrumentals and sing on top of them. This is actually a song from a, a video game that I thought was really pretty, so I wrote out a little loop arrangement. And if you guys haven't already had the joy of watching Claire perform, definitely make sure to give a follow and check her out. She's a wonderful singer-songwriter and uh, just lovely company. Thank you. 
I'm still trying to figure out kind of the violin part I want for this. Or loops that I've been putting together. It's been fun. And then, on that note, I'm actually gonna wrap, oops, my bad, <laughs> wrap this stream up. I will be live again tomorrow at 10 a.m. for anyone who might want some morning music. Very exciting news. I'm also gonna be doing a collab stream next Monday with my violin teacher. She's also a music streamer here on Twitch, uh, Julia Dina, and she's incredible. So I'm very excited to get to play some violin together on Monday. So let's see, who shall we raid? How about we raid Tyler Loves Music? Yay! Thank you guys for the company and the support for everyone who resubs and everything today and donated and just did all of the, the wonderful things. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Again, I'll be live tomorrow at 10 a.m. for anyone who wants some morning music. All right, you guys. Once the button wants to be pushed, it doesn't want to be pushed yet. <laughs>